Hey folks, AJ the CEO here and I was sitting here enjoying some lunch and we finished up our Q&A and Mike um, was saying, hey AJ, did you, what do you think of the update for DaVinci Resolve that they just announced? Didn't know nothing about it. So I'm like, okay, cool, let's update. Most of it was talking about all oh, those updates for the new um, M1 chips. And I'm like, okay, I'll download it. But boy, am I surprised and excited about some of the enhancements. So let me take y'all along with me. I just finished doing the install. And let's just walk through all the new features that I am really excited about just based off of what I saw right here. Alrighty, so what's new in DaVinci Resolve 17.4? Like we said, we talked about they had the M1 um, Pro and M1 Max optimized chips, um, simplified color management. Okay, that's cool. 3D keyer enhancement, improved keyer and matte. Okay, I think that's kind of cool. I do do some color keying and getting some stuff out of the way. Um, the Stroudsburg VST support. I, I had that in my Sony Vegas, never really used it. But what I'm excited about is that one right here. YouTube video chapters. Export timeline markers as YouTube video or QuickTime chapters. Man, if y'all know how many times I upload and edit videos and then I literally upload it. And while I'm uploading it, I play it back again to find out where the time is to create the timestamps. The fact that I can do this now and it's built in, I'm excited about that. That's the number one thing I'm excited about right there. Um, subtitle improvements. Okay, I've done some of that. Extensive text plus improvements. Let's see what they do about that. Um, new Resolve FX plugin. Cool. Let's see what the learn more. What does it show? Okay, so it points me over to this video here. And that dude just got smacked like fire in this video. <laughs> The old man just reached over and smacked the sweet Moses out of him. Let's see. Now, again, I I use DaVinci Resolve for all of my videos here on YouTube from my company standpoint when I do videos for people, as well as I use this for all of the video edits that I do for church, video announcements, and stuff like that. So i um, really excited. I've been wanting to get more into the cut type of window, but I, I really just don't. Um, I'm just so used to the edit window. I'm actually downloading the update on my M1 to see how that is as well, too. Let's see what else. Hollywood post-production. And again, this is free. Now, I did have a license that came with my pocket cinema camera, so I am using the studio. But everywhere else, I've been using the free version for years, and I just love it. And I do have access to Premiere. I No. I'm just not interested. Um, again, I like how they've added all of the stuff in here. And we're going to do a quick edit. Actually, I still have the footage from Ireland that I was walking around that I need to edit. Let's see how that all works. Smart reframing, multicam editing. I wish they would do that in the editor window and not just the cut, but oh well. Um, color. Fusion is more stuff I need to play around with. Fairlight, I do a lot of my audio. I think for years I used to record myself doing um, parts for a choir, and I used to use that to do it um, for years. Maybe for seven years, and then before that I was using um, Sony Vegas for eight years, record myself singing each part and the musicians to prepare for choir rehearsal. So, media delivery, automatic AV syncing, okay. Rendering options, remote render. Thank you. That's back. So I can send off the rendering to my other system. So I can send that, let it render over there while I'm doing this. So that's cool. I need to make sure I update that on my other system as well, too. Um, hundreds of GPU accelerated film effects. Yeah, they've added a bunch more. So I'm excited about that. What's this? The neural engine uses state-of-the-art deep neural networks and machine learning along with artificial intelligence to power features such as facial recognition, smart framing, speed warping. Okay. Interesting. Um, work on third party storage. There's a Synology similar to what I got. 
So that is cool. Um, like I said, the main thing for me is coloring. Okay, that's cool. And like I said, the venture is off is free. You need you do need to have a fairly decent system. Um, I I got my brother in law turned on to that, and he was doing a lot of the editing. He still does it for his church, and my brother and sisters, my um, brother in law and sisters, um, YouTube channel. They use that, and they were using a Ryzen three thirty two hundred G for all their stuff. I've since upgraded their stuff with leftover parts that I have. I got them a Ryzen. Oh uh, no, excuse me, a Radeon. 57 RX 5700 that they're using now but um yeah so like I said uh DaVinci Resolve is free I have the DaVinci Resolve Studio you get uh, the pocket cinema camera 4k or 6k it actually comes with it it did not come with the studio camera I wish it did but yeah really really excited to see so like I said let's go ahead and close that and maybe I can I'm sure I probably got to upgrade my databases as well, too, with these changes. So let's get it started up. They greatly enhanced how fast it used to be. So cool. I don't have to upgrade my database. That's awesome. Let's go up here. Let's open up Ireland. This is the deliver panel. And I don't know why my... My taskbar is acting up on me. Why is my taskbar just acting up? Oh well, let's just drag it out the way. And let's go back to full screen. So this is the, oh, and I see it right there. Chapters for markers, from markers, okay. So technically, yeah, I just gotta check that off and I just gotta make markers for everything. Okay, let's go ahead and just try and sample something real quick let me go back to i normally use dual screen i'm gonna turn that off so everything is on one screen right now and hopefully i can get up and out of the way let's let's turn picture and picture off to make this easier here all right so let's go ahead to the media tab let's go ahead and find my footage i should have i don't know that's not ireland the wrong day there we go that was me just walking so let's take all this footage down here all right and this was all shot in 4k and I'm gonna pull over my resolve stuff here, these are all my graphics that I normally have. It's taking a little bit longer than it normally would. It's very strange. Huh. Anyway, let's go ahead and just make something really simple. And we'll pull from something like that. I just used this one video here when the truck was coming up and that's only f was a couple of seconds. So I just really just want to see how it makes these chapters. I was like starting middle and then end. All right. Now let's do that as a test. And I'll set it as private. Let's render that. That should not take very long. All right, and it's uploading. Boom, video's been uploaded. So now let's go over here to the YouTubes. And let's see what happened. I'm gonna go to content and there's our video that's being processed. So let's go in here and let's see how it did. Oh, awesome. So it literally took the timestamps, made the zero and just put it in there. Man, that makes that super, super easy. But again, 
it only does that, I'm assuming, it only does that because it's letting DaVinci Resolve upload it and it's adding that text line to the description. So that's cool. That is really cool. So what I'm going to do is play around with this and how I'm editing this video and that's what I'm going to use to upload this. So um, let me know if you have any other questions. That was kind of like a quick little short one. Um, the main thing that jumped out to me, I'm going to go look at DaVinci Resolve, I mean DaVinci Resolve, Blackmagic video when they're announcing this to get some more details on anything else I would have missed. And then we're going to be playing around with this on the M1 Mac Mini once this is done. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell, that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks, this is AJ, we'll see you on the next video, later!